Hey folks, welcome back. We got this six liter Ford in here. This is a 2004. Uh, it's a little bit later of a 2004 because you can tell that it's, um, you know, got the ice speed sensor up here on the valve cover versus uh, back in there where they first put them at in the early 04s and, and the 2003s. Uh, this one said they said was uh, smoking and running really bad and then. Um, got to the point where it uh, hydro locked and so we've got to go um, figure out you know what's what's causing the hydro lock is it fuel or is it uh, coolant um, hopefully it's fuel because that's probably just means an injector seal went bad or whatever um, if it's if it's coolant or whatever possibly then we got bad head gaskets um, you would normally suspect an EGR cooler uh, also, uh, but this one doesn't have that. It's all been uh, deleted off of there. You can see there's where your EGR valve would have been, and then the EGR cooler lays down underneath the here, but it's not in there. Um, normally, you'd see it right in here. So the first thing you got to do um, is go underneath and look at it. Okay, so we're gonna come up underneath the here. We're gonna have a look, see at the exhaust manifolds. Um, this side's looking really dry. This is the driver's side. Then you come over here and you see a little bit of liquid coming out there. And so this will be the side I'm gonna start with here, passenger side. We're gonna pull the, pull the glow plugs out and um, see if we can get this thing cranked over and get out whatever's in there and find out what's going on. Okay, you can see your glow plug harness right there, and they're a little bit of a bear to get to sometimes. Um, you don't gotta lift valve covers off of them or nothing, but they're right down in there, but they, they usually can tend to break. Um, here's an old one of what one looks like and how you gotta get into here. And um, There is a special tool made to uh, pop these things out, Eric. Usually the O-rings get pretty stuck. Um, you can use a tool like this, or in the past I've also wrapped a piece of wire around here and then just grab it with a pair of pliers, you know, stick get the wire inside of this little groove. You know, this, this little groove right here. You know, because also if you want to get this tool in here, you've got to get this tool all the way in there. And, um, you know, because I've had these break off before and uh, be kind of a bear to get, you know, if it breaks off flush right here, they're a little bit of a bear to get off. So anyways, we're going to pull these ones, uh, a couple of these out of here. We're going to pull out um, all of them and then we're going to barely bump the engine over while using this uh, deal right here. This goes down to your starter, so we're going to pull that off Then you just kind of jump it on the top of this post right here and just bump 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 and we'll find out where and wh which cylinders either cylinder or cylinder plural find out which one's got fuel in them all right so i pulled out the uh number um seven glow plug because that you know there was kind of wet you saw back there on the back of the uh manifold and stuff so and that didn't uh, and then i bumped the starter over and that didn't do it so then it was wet up towards the front so I went ahead and pulled out this uh, front glow plug and um, you know stuffed a bunch of rags you know all in here because in case if it's gonna come out and sure enough it did so um, this is what we do right here you pull this wire right off of here just go right on the in here and I'll just crank the engine and um, now we can get it to turn over And it is definitely fuel. So we've got to get this uh, valve cover off of here and get that uh, number one injector pulled out. Because this is how the numbering goes. One, three, five, seven on this side. So anyways, now we know that the engine cranks over. We don't have to mess with anything on that side right now. Um, unless the customer wants to do all the injectors, but we don't know that yet, but we're gonna pull this number one out and figure out uh, what's going on. 
Okie dokie, we got our uh, confirmation here with this uh, O-ring seal right here, you know, so your fuel comes in right there. So without that O-ring and with damage on this deal, this looks like this injector may not have been uh, torqued down properly or just something because um, it ain't supposed to look like that. And you can see the combustion's all gone past and in, into here and then uh, pretty much disintegrated this o-ring which allowed the fuel to spray into the cylinder hydro locking the engine so we're gonna need to um, at minimum replace these o-rings in in this but we need to uh, really make sure and clean and check good you know the cylinder cups which I've done I've cleaned it and it all looks looks pretty good, so um, could just chalk it out to this probably wasn't torqued down properly. So I'll find out what the customer wants to do if they want me to clean up this injector and reseal it um, with just with some new O-rings, or uh, if we want to actually go with replacing the whole injector, which is usually the better way to go. Um, and then regardless of how this happened. The best way to go would be to replace all the injectors because um, you don't know really what started all of this. But, um, you know, because the O ring could have gone and then that would allow this thing to, to maybe be looser in there and stuff and then allow this to get combustion pad. I don't know. There's lots of different ways, but I really think it just wasn't torqued down properly. So, or it just worked its way loose. Who knows? So, anyways. Um, keep on going okay so we got our uh, new injector installed um, we, yeah we went that's what the customer we decided to do you know just go on with with uh, one new injector just tech check the torque on the other ones um, be nice to be able to change all all the rest of the three um, but we didn't so anyways we got uh, that we got new oil put in new oil filter um, and then we're just what we're going to do right now is we're just going to crank this and we're going to test you know just to make sure we got the glow plugs all back in because earlier when i cranked this before you know you you kind of heard this thing go rrr, rrr, you know it was because it had two of the glow plugs out and so now we've got them all in we want a nice even crank and then also what this will do is it'll start building oil pressure into the oil rail that we had off of here now that uh you know so we can get it all filled back up so here we go Okay, and then the next thing we'll do is we'll cycle the key probably three or four times. I did replace the uh, fuel filters. Probably should have done that second. Probably be better off if I'd got the engine running and all that and then replace the fuel filters, but had a little bit of downtime waiting for the part to come in uh, and just wanted to get it done. So I'm gonna snap this back in and I'm gonna need two hands. Gonna wait till the injectors are done with their thing. Let the fuel pump prime up. I think these things run for. Well, I don't remember how long the fuel pump on these. The 6.4s they run for like 20 seconds or more. Non-working tack. They'll be able to see that, but they will smoke a little bit when you get them back running again. Okay, so that seems like we're good to go on this. One thing I do wanted to mention about, you know, I didn't mention before about the evenness of the cranking when you got it all put back together. One of the reasons you're checking for that is is if you hydrolock an engine with either coolant or fuel or oil which can happen in these things all three of those can happen at some point usually you don't get oil in these whether it's on just usually doesn't happen but um anyways you can crack top piston if you uh or crack a piston or do something you can do some damage and so it's nice to be able to you know listen for that um 
a relative compression test will also, with a scan tool, um, we'll be doing that. Um, there's lots of videos on how to do that and all that kind of stuff. You know, basically just mentioning that. This is just, you know, what to do to fix what's most likely going to happen if you get your uh, 6.0 here hydro locked with fuel. Um, first thing you got to do is if it's hydro locked, you got to figure out uh, what's in it, um, what cylinder, and you got to figure out what's in it. So that's why we looked at the manifolds underneath and how we went to this side. Uh, I went pulled out the the uh, number seven injector or excuse me glow plug, still and then barely bu barely bumped the starter still wouldn't go. Then I thought, okay, the middle part of that deal was dry, so I'm going to go up here and pull that one out. And I'm pretty sure by by the time I pulled that glow plug out of there, how wet it was, and like oh that's, that's it feels and smells like fuel. But then I went ahead and bumped the starter again and. Psh, it sprayed out you know i even had rags and stuff all put in here just in case and it blew the rags completely out shot fuel clear over there so be careful with that when you do it that way but then once it all you know bumped the starter a couple of times and once it got cleared enough to where then i kept going with it and once you know that your engine can now rotate um then you're you're you know you got your you know hydro lock and i looked at that back that back cylinder nothing came out of it at all so put that glow plug back in, did it again. Pretty much we were just to, down to this one cylinder and now we've uh, confirmed we've got it uh, got it fixed and stuff like that and go take it around and drive it, let it run. It's gonna smoke for a while and um, get it all cleared out. So hopefully this will help you out if you, know, if you get something like that um, where it's hydro locked with fuel. First thing you gotta do, or hydro locked, you got first thing you gotta do is figure out what it is. Once you figure out what it is, that's where you go from there. If it's fuel you got, then follow what we did here. So anyways, thanks for watching.